Hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm okay. I don't I want to go out already. <laughs> that's, that's what, uh, are, you, are you wearing a face mask at home? No, I'm, I'm at work. Oh, you're still at work? That makes sense then. Yeah. All right. JC, how are yeah, you, I'm sir? I'm in the office. I'm in the you're what did you say? I'm at the, in the office. I shouldn't be there anymore. What time are you heading home? 10. From here. Ah, so after class, basically. One hour after class. Yeah. Almost, yeah. Almost, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I'm glad you joined. Despite being at the work, that's good. That's awesome. Try to stay safe. Yes. JC, what about you? How are things? I cannot Hi, hear you. Oh yeah, now I can. Hi, how are things? Ah, I'm great. Only a little tired. <laughs> I I working. Okay. Um, only. You worked all day. That's it. Yeah. Until until Friday. The day you say you're not tired, we're gonna have a party. Because <laughs> you're always <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. We're gonna throw a party if you say, "Oh, I'm I'm not tired at all." Okay. <laughs> want to bring the house down. <laughs> yeah, we could. No, yeah. Um. With with some friends, we're gonna have to have a virtual party one of these days because yeah, I'm, I'm tired. So I think we're gonna watch a movie and then drink something, talk online because there's no other option right now. Okay. But to socialize through the internet, right? Well, at least that's my case. You guys get yeah. to go outside at least. But, <laughs> okay. Well, last night we were studying because to explain reasons, but something pretty simple. Okay, we saw a structure here. Take a look. Hi, are you ready for the clause starting with? So we could say uh, we could start with because, or we could put it in the in the middle, right, with the comma or without the comma. Yeah. Uh, that's about it. Because I'm very creative. All right. We're going to discuss these questions right now. Hold on. Yes. Why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor, or an actor? All right, let's discuss this. So would you be a good actress? Hold on. We're going to start with the president. Roberto, do you think you would make a good president? Not really. Mm -hmm. Why not? I don't know. I think because I'm not the creator or has the acting enough to be president. I'm not, not creative. the creator. Yes. Or patient enough to be a president. Okay. What about you, JC? Mm, no, I, I don't believe. I wouldn't like be. a good person. I wouldn't be a good person. I wouldn't be. No. All right. What about an actor? An actor, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Have you ever acted? Actor. What? Have you ever acted? Actors. Have you ever acted, acted in a play or a movie or a short film, something? Mm, no. Never. <laughs> Never. But you think you would be a good one? Yes. yes. Okay. Roberto? Well, I never I never have acted in a film or a movie before, but I have when I went to church, 
I have acted in a small drama. That's acting, I don't know if you know what it is. Which one? Like, like a drama, like, is like... No, I, I know, a play, a short play. Uh, no, you can, like, you can make make a app in any Christian song if, if you want, like, we, like, you can even, like, do an app, like, you can use, like, three different songs and add, like, but this, that song ah. needs to have the same message. I don't know if, if you understand what I'm trying to say. No, like a yeah. musical? Um, it's like kind of musical, but it's, it's like acting what the song is saying. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. It, it's some sort of a musical. I don't know how a lip sync. Mm -hmm. I don't know the name, the exact name for it, but send it to me and I'll, I'll look about uh, research. Okay. What about, listen okay. to this. Would you be a good kindergarten teacher <laughs> <laughs> i don't think so well i i used to be a sunday school teacher okay roberto would be a good <laughs> kindergarten teacher <laughs> yeah, a little bit <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great jc what <laughs> excuse me <laughs> <laughs> excuse me would you be a good kindergarten teacher yes yes I think so. You would? I like the the the, the actions, uh, fun, play with uh, children. Seriously? Oh, look yeah. at you. Noe, can you hear us? Yeah, we cannot hear you. Oh, no way. We can't hear you again. I think it's your microphone. Maybe it's not working anymore. Okay, but stay Maybe around. Different. Yeah, I don't know why or if the settings. Check the settings too, because that happens to me once. Otherwise, we're gonna have to communicate through chat like we did last night. Um, hmm, bummer. Okay, number one, Jason, go ahead and read. I would want to be a nurse ah excuse me instructions yes the instructions first the instruction complete the sentences with the appropriate information using because <laughs> okay so i would Number want to be a nurse I will want to be a uh, because I don't like hospital. Okay. Very good. No way, eh? you're gonna send me the answer for number three, okay? Roberto, number two. Number two. I like to be a novelist. The acting art. Because I because I love creating creative writing. The last one. Because I love creative writing. Okay, that makes sense. Number three, Noe says hold on for a minute. Okay. No, he didn't send the answer. <laughs> Hey, Dill, could you do number three, please? Hi. Hi. You're muted. Oh, sorry. <laughs> number <laughs> three. <laughs> okay. I could never be an account. An accountant. Accountant. Yes, an accountant. Okay. Because I am terrible with numbers. Okay. Don't be an accountant if you're terrible with numbers. Please. 
JC, number four. I will make a bad waiter. Mm -hmm. The option is? The options are? I really get bad. Because I have a terrible memory. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did you say cheese or shrimp? <laughs> Nothing to do. All right, number five, Roberto. <laughs> I could be a flight attendant. The options are because I enjoy, I really enjoy traveling. I really, yeah, anybody enjoys traveling, I think. Let's see, everything should be right. And no. it is. Yay. Okay. And I think that's it. Let me see, is it time? Yeah, it is time for the final exam. I know it. Despite it is the final exam, okay, despite being the final exam, I'm still going to see you tomorrow and on Thursday, okay, for more practice. But um, let's do this. Let's try right. to do We work first. together. <laughs> yep. Yes, yes, yes. So are you... I here? finished this class, but... In... You finished it, yeah. Hazel? Have you taken the final test? No? I, I can hear you clearly, teacher. Have you taken the final test, the final exam? Uh, if I can. No, if you if you have finished this part. Uh, no, no, not Maybe? yet. No, not yet. Okay, can you please access the platform, everyone, so you can get this out of the way? You're gonna check it as done so you don't have to worry about it since the last day is Friday. We don't really have that much time. I know Roberto finished, so as always, he's gonna help us, okay? But let's do it, let's finish okay, it right like now. One thing, it doesn't, it doesn't show me like to view my certificate. Seriously. That's strange. Yeah, and I have like the 98% finish. Hmm. Okay, try to contact, you know, right? They always send you messages saying report any issues if, if, the, if you have any. So send a message mm -hmm. and see what's going on because you don't want to miss out on that. Okay, so are you on the platform, Hazel? All right. No, just give me one minute, please. Sure. JC, what about you? Uh, one minute, please. Okay. Okay, Noé, are you on the platform? I don't hear you. All right, but access the platform, no, eh? so you can get the answers too. I'm ready. Okay, great. So let's go to the final. Me too. Exam. Awesome. Let's do it together. We're going to work uh, as a group, okay? Number one. Go ahead and read, Hazel. Okay, if you walk towards you, won't have to pay for the bus. You won't have to pay. Yeah, <laughs> obviously not. If you, walk work, you... <laughs> if you walk to work, you don't have to pay for the bus. Okay. You won't. All right, great. Noe, uh, give us the answer for number three, okay? Is you... JC, number two? Is you a vacation? You made me feel very old, oh, Is you take? If you take Isha. a vacation, take. you may feel better and more relaxed. Okay, try to read the whole sentence. 
so we can practice a little bit. Okay, Noe, did you get the answer for number three? That's yours, all yours. You take a vacation, you feel better. Okay. Number three, no, I send it to the chat. Okay, four, Roberto. Fiona carefully plans her day so she, she's never late for appointments. She likes to be punctual. She likes to be punctual. Okay. I try to help people. Okay, number three. If you get married, you might take less free time, won't have less, or will have less. We have. What's the answer? Hazel, JC, Lawrence, or anybody? We have. We have. You will have less free time. It's not true. Yes. <laughs> it's not true. Roberto says it's not true. Is it not, Roberto? When I was in the when I, I was married back in the United States, every time like I wanted to get out early, my boss always get angry, like, what do you want? Why what do you want to go so early home? Uh -huh. And I say because like I need to be home now early. Before I didn't have a purpose to be early, but I need to have early. And now I had a purpose to be home early. Ah, I so to be early. It always put me like more overtime. <laughs> what? Yes. That's strange. Okay. <laughs> Number five, Hazel. Number five, Jerry tries to help people and never says no. When someone asks him for a favor, he seems like a really generous. He never says. The prince he never, says. Oh, okay, he never says no. He never says no. When okay. someone asks. Okay, so he seems really uh, generous, right? Yeah. Very good. Number six, JC. Actually, Amy and Sam get angry easily. And, uh, easily. Easily. No, easily. 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 And almost never smile. Everyone thinks they're moody and. Moody. Moody and bad temper. Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. We're gonna send it. Let's see. Ding, ding, ding. Everything is good. We can move on. To the letter B, read the instructions, please. Hazel. Hazel, you're muted. Listen to the conversation. Check the correct information. Okay. Oh, my ears. <laughs> Units 9 to 10 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Sylvia. Can you believe that 15 years ago, not many people had personal computers? I know. I remember being so happy when my parents gave me a manual typewriter for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. Well, before typewriters, people used to write each other. My mother has some beautiful old handwritten letters. Those were the good old days, huh? Yes and no. Nowadays, email makes it so easy to keep in touch with family and friends. So, you wouldn't want to go back to those days? No, I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey, do you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. No, thanks. Two. I love old houses. 
I like that they have a past, you know, a history of every family that lived there. But Marcia, if you buy an old house, you may have to make a lot of repairs to it. Repairs? What kind of repairs? You might have to change the pipes and electrical wiring, or even put in a new heating system. Well, that might be true, but just think of how wonderful it would be to live in such a beautiful old place. But if you stay in your apartment for a few more years, you won't have to worry about moving. You'll have a lot more time to save money for your dream home. Three. So, Jim, have you thought any more about the kind of work you're interested in doing? Well, I've been thinking how I love traveling and... <laughs> so do I, but that's what you do on vacation. No, Dad. I mean, I want a job that involves traveling. Oh, like uh, an airline pilot? Well, not exactly, but hey, you just gave me a good idea. I work well with other people, and I don't mind working long hours, and I'm good at French and Spanish, so maybe I could become a flight attendant. Hmm, a flight attendant. Do you think your mom and I would get to fly at a special family rate? I think so. Great. Four. Do you know yet what you're going to do this summer? Well, I think I'd make a good counselor because I really like working with children. I'm going to try to work at a summer camp. Yeah, you'd be great working with kids at a camp. That kind of job isn't for me, though. But, Mac, you like hiking and camping, and you're hardworking. But I'd hate to have the responsibility of taking care of a group of children. And I'm way too impatient to work with kids. Well, what else would you enjoy doing? I really enjoy working outdoors. I think I'm going to try to find a job working at a national park. I'd love to help park rangers take people on nature hikes and things like that. Okay, those are long conversations to get to the point, but <laughs> here we are. So, Sylvia, what is the right one for her? I'm going to unmute everyone because everybody's muted. Unmute. Okay, so Hazel, what do you think about Sylvia? Sylvia is happy with her laptop, I think. Yeah, that could be one. Next one, JC. Mm. This one, I know, got it. Got it. You didn't get it. <laughs> didn't get it. Okay. So I think she won't be able to afford a big old house. She won't be able? If, if she stays in her apartment. What's the answer, Hazel, Roberto? She'll have more time to pay for her house. Yes, she'll have more time to save her house. If she stays. Okay, number three, Hazel. Jim's dad. Uh, Jim's dad likes the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant. Yes, he wants the benefit of it. And for Roberto. Max wants to get a job at a national club. At a national park, yeah. Okay, everything is good, awesome. We can move on. Two, JC, move on. Okay, let's go to part C. C as in Charlie. All right, Roberto, read the instructions, please. Instruction, continue the conversation, check the correct response. Mm -hmm. says, I'm not very good at typing. Oh, I am. 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 Number two. Yeah, they see. Yeah. I like working with computers. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So am I. Mm, no, this is not the verb be. So do I. So do I. So do I. Someone is watching news. Yeah. Hold on. You guys, can we lower the volume, the TV volume, please? Okay, look at I this. Don't... JC and everyone, look. You say, for example, I am um, punctual. And you say, so do I or so am I? So I am. So am I, right? Because the verb so that I'm using I. sentence. Okay. Hold on, Hazel. Yeah, I think it was your, your TV. So I am punctual, so am I, right? Because the verb is the verb be. And if I say I live in San Salvador, for example, the verb is live, so we're going to use so do I. Because it is present simple and it's not the verb be, so we use do. Mm -hmm. okay? Do with auxiliary. And if with the auxiliary, exactly. And if I say something in the past, like I lived in mm -hmm. San Salvador, we're going to use the auxiliary in the past. So did, did I. I, exactly. And if I say something in the future, you will use the auxiliary in the future and so on. Is that clear now? Yeah. Yes. Very Thank good. you. Yeah. <laughs> My pleasure. Number three, Hazel. I I don't mind driving to work every day. Uh huh. It uh, I think it's two possible answer. Oh, I don't. Or really, I like. It. I don't. I'm not sure. Okay. So what would the answer be? Don't mind. Neither do I. Neither do I. Mm -hmm. Very good. Everything is right. We're almost done. Let's move on to, are you working on the platform too, JC? Yes, I work. So letter D, um, number one, Roberto. Fiona carefully spends her day so she's never late for appointment. She likes to be punctual. Very good. Number two, Hazel. Jerry tries to help people and never says no. When someone asks him for a favor, uh, generals. This looks a lot like the other exercise, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it's the same. Is it the same one? Yes, it's the same. Bad tempered. No, the number three is the same. Yeah, number three is bad tempered. Yeah. Everyone thinks they're bad tempered. Okay, we're going to do the matching one. Number one, Hazel. Read the instructions for number one, okay? Not the sentence we appropriate it. Oh. Match the sentences with the appropriate information. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to work as an English teacher. Because I am very passionate and understand. Patient and enjoy helping people learn. Okay, that works. Very patient. Number two, JC. I wouldn't want to be a fly attendant mm -hmm. because I don't like to travel or work with people. I don't like to travel or work with people. Very good. Number three. <clears throat> uh, Roberto? You, you can say both, guys. I will make a good waiter. 
Yeah, that's what I asked you, right? I would be because I have an I excellent make, memory. Yeah. What is the difference? I would be or I would make? What's the difference? Uh, what is the difference? I will be is in the future, I think. And I would make. What's the difference? No way. I will be is something you're not sure about it. Uh, no, you know what? I think it, I will be something you're not sure. No, it, the difference is, I, I don't know how to explain. That you it's like saying, okay, yo sería buen profesor o la haría bien como profesor. Okay, that's basically the difference. That's, that's the difference. It's not big. Yeah, I can tell you not sure. Ah, okay. I will make a good waiter because I have a good memory. La la la. Where is good memory? I'm very patient. Very patient. Uh -huh. oh, no. No, 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 no. I have no, an excellent memory and like. Me. I have an excellent memory and like yeah. meeting people. All right, for JC. I could never become a doctor. Because I am too disorganized. Disorganized. Uh, and, <laughs> disorganized. Imagine a disorganized doctor, right? Stand wrote, hospital. Left hand, <laughs> not the right hand. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, no problem. <laughs> so I could never become no, a doctor because yeah. I'm too disorganized. <laughs> All right, awesome. And I clicked on send. That's it, right? We finished. That's it. <gasps> yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're done. Na, na, need more. Na, need more. My friends. Da, na, na. We're going to practice right now. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to practice. Mm -hmm. Our journeys. This topic is pending, okay? Where we're supposed to practice uh, verbs that were followed by a gerund, okay? So we're going to do gerunds. We're going to discuss some questions, okay? But I want you to take a look first. Is this the one? Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so I want you to follow the structure here. For example, we're only going to use gerunds. Look at this. We have two verbs, right? In the first question, what are the two verbs that we have together? Two verbs that are together, what are they? Wait, I don't get it. I'm saying, in the first question, we have two verbs that are together. What are they? What are the two verbs in the first question? A boy doing. A boy doing. A boy. We have the verbs avoid and we have the verb do. Okay, the, the characteristic here is that after the verb avoid, we always have to use I something you have to memorize, okay? In this case, it's gerundi, gerund. Yes, after the verb avoid, you always use the gerund, okay? So avoid doing. What about the second one? Okay, all of these verbs, if you have this verb and you have another verb, the second verb has to be with ing. It has to be conjugated mm -hmm. with ing. Okay, number two, what is the other verb? Sorry, Hazel, do yeah. you think you could lower the volume a little okay. bit, the, the TV? If it's possible, yes. otherwise I can just mute you and unmute you, we can do that too. It depends, I'm just saying. Okay, the other two verbs, what are they? Enjoy doing, enjoy. 
Enjoy, exactly. So after the verb enjoy, you always use ing. I enjoy cooking, I enjoy listening to music, I enjoy walking, in. okay? Next one. Quit. Quit is going to be followed by ing too. I miss, I miss, you're going to say, I miss walking, I miss talking to my friends, so ing, all of these verbs. Is that clear? Yes. yes. All right, let's practice. So read the first question. Uh, what, what do you need, teacher? Sorry? Read the first question, please. Okay. What do you always avoid doing until the last minute? Mm -hmm. What would you answer, Roberto or JC? Hazel? Mm -hmm. No, I forget my phone. Sorry? No, I forget my phone. No, I avoid, I avoid forgetting. Oh, incomplete sentences? Yes, I avoid. Okay. I avoid forgetting my, my phone into the last minute. At home, for example, right? So look at this. Avoid. Avoid. With I and G. That's the important part. Okay, mm -hmm. you, JC, what do you avoid doing? Yes, mm. Ah, uh, boy. Mm -hmm. uh, boy. Okay, I avoid. What do you avoid? Tell me a verb. Eating, eating uh, fast food. Junk food or fast food? Junk food. Uh huh. Okay, Hazel. Uh, uh, I'm not. I avoid taking a shower. <laughs> you avoid <laughs> taking a shower? <laughs> it's the first time that I do. Sorry? It's the first, uh, it's the first thing that I do. <laughs> you avoid taking a shower. Avoid is evitar. Exactly. <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, you avoid doing it until the last minute. Exactly. Ah, okay, that makes, yeah, this question is very tricky. I don't understand if it is. I don't, yeah, okay. I think, I think you're right. No, it's not tricky. It's not? From me, it's not tricky. No, it's something you avoid doing until the last minute. So you do it way beforehand. That's what it means, yeah, right? I, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Something you enjoy doing? I enjoy. I enjoy. Eat everything. We're going to say Hazel. Hazel enjoys, because you still have to conjugate the first one. Hazel enjoys eating. Is that correct? Or, no, it's eating. Eating. Yeah. That's eating. what you have to keep in mind. Hazel enjoys eating. Okay. Eh, Roberto? I enjoy sleeping every day. Enjoy sleeping? JC? I enjoy drinking uh, Coca Cola with ice. <laughs> drinking Coke with ice, okay. <laughs> Those small pleasures of life, huh? Okay, something you have quit recently. You, so you can say, I have recently quit smoking, for example. It's only an example. So here's the verb. We're missing the verb. I have recently quit what? 
mira, que hay una NEM que es igual a esta, una RG40. I have recently quit not eating junk food for breakfast. Okay, I have recently quit eating junk food for breakfast. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, JC, something you have quit, so meaning something you have stopped doing recently. Mm. I have already quit. Driving fast. Uh -huh. Okay, that's good. Uh, because of the circumstances or because uh -huh. you decided to Push remain away. safe? Because I decided. <laughs> ah, okay, great. So congratulations in that case. So <laughs> you, you have recently quit speeding. Oh, uh, speeding. Quit speeding. Yeah. Okay, something you miss from your childhood. I miss seeing my friends every day from my Being childhood. a child. <laughs> in general. <laughs> yeah. no, same from your childhood. What do you mean? <laughs> you can say that I miss being I a child. That's okay. Miss uh -huh. Think, Hazel. I miss in a verb with ing. I miss watching TV every day. <laughs> really? Yes. JC? <laughs> Uh, I think uh, I mean I mean be sitting or staying at restaurant. What do you mean? I think I, uh, I should play to uh, eat a restaurant. You mean eating out? Eating out. Okay. Yeah, you mean eating out. Okay, that's strange. I would say it's the opposite. Now you can eat out more, more often than in the past. Okay, and finally, eh, what is something you're thinking about doing? So think about the, the reason why we're gonna use ing now is because of the preposition. After prepositions, you always have to use ing. So if you have for, if you have in, for, about, you have to use ing. Okay, so say I'm thinking about and at the verb in ing. Okay, read the question, please, Hazel. What is something you are thinking of doing next year? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. <laughs> Hopefully, there are no viruses next year. <laughs> No war, no virus, nothing, and we can do our yeah. plans. We can carry them out. Uh huh. Roberto, JC. I'm thinking about learning surf. About what? Uh, surfing. Have a, a, a lesson. Okay, hold on. I'm thinking about have le have surfing lesson. Lesson, yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is incorrect. There is a mistake here. What is the mistake, guys? What's the mistake? About. Uh, yeah, about is a preposition, and after a preposition, you have to use a gerund. So you have to use ing. So I'm thinking about having. Having. Yeah, having. That's very, that is what we're practicing, gerund. So keep it in mind. Okay, Roberto? I think I'm thinking of doing. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. You don't know, thinking about um, oh, no. <laughs> Hazel? What? 
I'm thinking about studying a master's degree. A master's degree. Great. Where are you going to study, Hazel? I need to learn English very well. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to study abroad? You want to study in another country? No, no, no. Here in El Salvador. I am thinking. Uh -huh, about? I'm thinking about to learn how to ride a motorcycle. Uh -huh. I'm thinking about to learn now because to is another preposition. So I'm thinking about learning how to ride a motor learning and cycle. Mm -hmm. Thinking about learning how to like this. Okay, now we're going to do something very simple. Let me see if I have the like, love, make picture so we can base on it. Okay. No, we don't. Well, practice with this. After all of these verbs, after all of these verbs, take a look. The verb like, dislike, hate love, prefer, enjoy, you have to use ing. Okay, this is the gerund, ing form. And these are the most basic ones. So everybody tell me something, something you like quickly, because we have to finish. I have something you like? ing. I like drinking Coca-Cola. <laughs> JC, Hazel? I like watching TV. Mm -hmm. Hazel? I like cooking different ways. Okay, dislike. Everybody. I dislike. I dislike eating fish. <laughs> Hazel? I dislike. Eating spicy food. Mm -hmm. I dislike wash, well, washing the dishes. Oh, yeah, that's the worst thing in the world. I agree. <laughs> 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 yep. Okay, hate. I hate painting the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Poor man. <laughs> Hazel and Roberto. I hate. I hate taking medicine. Oh. Hmm. So what do you do? You just take the pain. Yes. I don't take pills. Hmm. Okay. Let's move on to love. I love fixing my car. <laughs> what a hobby. You're like, I don't know what else to fix. Let me break it and fix it just because I love it. <laughs> 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 you don't know what else to do. I love sleeping. I love sleeping. You know what? In the past, I used to think, oh, people who say they love sleeping, what's wrong with them? But no, now I understand. We get really tired, so it's okay. <laughs> Okay, prefer. <laughs> I prefer what? Something over uh, something else. Playing. 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 In airplane. Playing with an airplane. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> I think that's not a real example, but all right, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Roberto, Hazel. What were we doing? Prefer? Yeah, prefer. I prefer playing. 
soccer. I prefer playing a basketball over soccer. Enjoy. Okay, I prefer playing soccer. And something you enjoy doing? I enjoy. I enjoy. I enjoy. Hey, so going, going to the gym. Going to the gym. Roberto, you were saying? I enjoy doing exercise. That's pretty much the same, Daisy. I can't hear you. What do you enjoy doing? Okay, guys. Uh, can you hear me, everyone? Yes. Right. So Thank try you. to remember, please, out of this lesson or out of tonight's lessons, what I want you to... This is very important, okay? Remember I told you last time, we're going to sound like, like Tarzan. Roberto says that you're going to sound like a caveman if we don't conjugate it correctly. So all of these, mm -hmm. after all of these verbs, you have to use ing. Keep it in mind, okay? Questions about this? Bless you. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Questions about this? <laughs> no. No, is it clear? Yeah? We're fine. Yes, for me. Okay, so um, <laughs> don't tell him, Hazel. <laughs> All right. Um, tomorrow we we have finished, right? You can try to get the the certificate once it's available, but still we have classes tomorrow, and the next day we're gonna practice speaking pretty much on the other topics that we saw for the, the entire module, throughout the module, all right? So we're just gonna be practicing these two days. If you have any questions or any topics that you would like me to reinforce, we can also do that, okay? Suggest them, otherwise I'll go through the platform and see what, uh, what topics require reinforcement and we'll study that, but please join me, okay? So thank you okay. guys for being in class. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. See you Have tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.